Zarko, also known as Arthur Zarko, Boris, and most notably the Tomorrow Man. His abilities include a genius level intellect and advanced scientific and technological skills. He possesses an arsenal of futuristic weaponry. Zarko, the Tomorrow Man, has commonly come into contact with Thor. Zarko is an evil scientist from the future, born in old New York of the peaceful 23rd century of an alternate future. Zarko was once a civil servant, but built a time machine to escape his time and visit more primitive periods, like present-day United States, where WMDs could be stolen easily, as he sought to become a conqueror and dictator in his own time. Zarko stole an experimental cobalt bomb to use in his own time during his test, thus taking over the Earth which had no nuclear weapons, but was pursued by Thor using his hammer and a piece of metal from the ship to travel to Zarko's time. Thor gained access to Zarko's base after distracting the tyrant by getting someone to impersonate him and defeated his robot servants even after they got his hammer. He recovered the bomb when Zarko dropped it towards the future city and caused Zarko's ship to crash land using a storm he had summoned with its hammer. Zarko was left amnesiac for a time, but his memory was eventually restored by Loki using the Well of Centuries at a time when Thor had been depowered. Zarko returned to the 20th century with a giant mining robot that he adapted for his purposes and coerced Thor, whose lesser strength had caused him to be defeated by the robot into helping him conquer the government of the 23rd century, saying he would not attack Thor's century if this happened. They returned to the future and Thor caused chaos until he and Zarko got to the ruling World Council. A robot octopus was released to attack the two, but Thor defeated it. Thor left a note to the council, advising them to let him take care of Zarko himself. The council told them where the machine was and the two tracked it down. Thor said he would help Zarko enter the area if he would be released from his bargain, to which Zarko agreed. Thor overcame a defense device's gravitational power. However, despite gaining access to the master machine which controlled the entire planet after getting the location from the council, Thor, now released from his debt, then defeated him by turning the master machine's defense system back on. Zarko was imprisoned and arrested by the guards soon after. Zarko later clashed with Kang when he tried to conquer Zarko's 23rd century. Zarko enlisted the aid of Spider-Man and Iron Man as Kang had captured the other Avengers to get inside Kang's base. Zarko then sent three devices to the present to de-evolve that era to pre-industrial times, except for an area containing an American missile base from which he planned to steal WMDs and rule the 23rd century, but this was stopped by Spider-Man and the Human Torch. Spider-Man then returned to the 23rd century with the Inhumans and defeated the two villains. Zarko later conquered an Earth in the 50th century where he encountered the Time Twisters. He used the Servitor robot to enlist the aid of Thor and the Warriors Three to defeat the Time Twisters. He journeyed with them to the end of time to thwart the Time Twisters' birth. But when he returned to the 50th century, he found himself deposed as ruler. Sometime later, Zarko traveled to 2591 and tricked Dargo, the Thor of that era, into accompanying him to the 20th century to battle the second Thor and Beta Ray Bill. Zarko sought to use the energy unleashed by their hammers in the clash to activate the radical time stabilizer device to use to collapse all the timelines into one. However, he was left adrift in the time stream. Later, Zarko's next plot was revealed to actually be a plan to save humanity. In his future, Thor had separated from his human self and lost his ability to understand humanity. Because of this, Thor had become more and more oppressive and imposing and believed that ruling humanity was the only just thing to do. Zarko knew that in his future, Thor would become a tyrant, so he had to travel back in time and stop him before the Odin force made him invincible and near omnipotent. When the governments of Earth launched a massive assault on Asgard, Zarko was seen trying to escape with his time machine, only to be stopped by Thialfi. 
Zarko's attempted time travel was instrumental for Thor to create for himself a new future in which he would never be the tyrant he would have been without his human self. Zarko later returned disguised as Boris, a manservant of Christoph Bernard, the heir of Doctor Doom, who had become a member of the Fantastic Four following the assumed death of Mr. Fantastic. He was soon exposed but used his time machine to cause chaos in the building by bringing in various heroes and criminals from the past and the future to fight it out. He later escaped, deciding that all he wanted was a quiet place and plenty of food. Soon after, however, Zarko was a prisoner in S.H.I.E.L.D. custody after he dropped out of nowhere and was caught trying to steal some nuclear materials that were in S.H.I.E.L.D.'s possession. When the space-time continuum was broken due to the effects caused by Ultron, a subdivision of S.H.I.E.L.D. was formed called Time to combat time stream related threats. Zarko was enlisted by Time to help Hulk fight a group of time travel opportunists called the Kronarchists before they can modify history. Artur Zarko is a genius with advanced scientific and technological skills as a result of advanced studies in various applied sciences of his native time period. Zarko has designed a number of devices, such as various weaponry including force field projectors and radiation guns. The Servitor, a giant robot with extraordinary strength capable of discharging concussive energy, Time missiles containing chronal radiation which allegedly reverses the flow of time. The time scope, a device able to peer through time, and the time cube, a time travel machine. 